Hello my sweets, it's Keisha. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome and thank you so much for choosing to watch my video. In today's Christmas in July video, I'll be showing you how I made these adorable marshmallow mugs using Dollar Tree mugs and food safe ceramic paint from a maker's studio. If you'd like to see how, you know what to do. So here I have four mugs from Dollar Tree and I picked these mugs out because they have kind of like a rounded square to them um, and so I thought maybe that's the closest I'm gonna get to doing a knockoff of these marshmallow cups so I have them as a set of four here so what I'm gonna do is start preparing them um, with some rubbing alcohol just to clean off uh, any oils or anything that might be on them and uh, then we'll get started so for the ones that have the chocolate drippings on them, I made a little pattern here and I will make this available uh, for anyone who may want to use it. Um, and I've already cut out a piece of it here. And what I'm going to do is attach this to my mug with some masking tape. And if you are comfortable with just freehanding it, um, then by all means do it that way. I'm kind of not <laughs> comfortable. So that, that's why I came up with the pattern. And all I'm gonna do is kind of just tape this down to here. Okay, so this is what I have so far. And I'm actually going to use a dry erase pen to put the, um, to trace it onto to here. So I'm just going to roughly do this here. And I'm not sure if I'm being honest how the paint is going to react to it. So I'm just gonna kind of, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm just gonna kind of go around it a little bit further Than I need to so then that way all I have to do is come back in and wipe this clean without the paint and a dry erase marker mixing if that's making any sense at all okay, and I'm just gonna come around the handle here just through the handle and make a little swoosh and there's that so, the paints that I'm going to be using today are through a Maker Studio. They are um, a ceramic paint that is food safe. And this particular type that I have is a little bit older. Um, it is a bake formula. They do now have a formula that uh, available now that you don't have to bake it. Um, but this is what I have on hand, so this is what I'm going to use. So, uh, for these, two colors. Unfortunately, I didn't have any black, so I mixed red and green together to make black. Now, it looks black on camera. Um, in person, it doesn't really look black, um, but we'll see what happens. So I did mix those two. And then we have a dark chocolate brown for the, or dark chocolate latte, excuse me, for the uh, chocolate dripping. And then I mixed the Always a Bridesmaid, that's this color, with Tally Ho, which is the red color. Um, so I had a little bit more of this color for the cheeks, and then a little bit more of the Tally Ho color uh, for the ones with the tongue. So, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit nervous about this, but we're gonna, we're doing it, because I've been wanting to do this project for quite some time now, and, um, haven't so this has been sitting for a little bit so what I'm gonna do is kind of just give it a little stir so I do have my fan going in here and I just have a rounded brush that I'm gonna use and I'm just gonna come in here and just start painting 
And like I said, I was going to stay away from the dry erase, and I'm already on the dry erase. <laughs> oh, isn't that... That's life, isn't it? So I'm just going to go ahead and fill this in. So I know it's looking like a hot mess right now. I am going to uh, come over and do another coat on this and try to get this color a little bit more even. Okay, so that's what we have so far. It's looking a lot better with the, the second coat on there. I think I'm going to try, try going for a third just to, because there is some striations there that I would like to make more solid but I'm gonna um, give it a minute <clears throat> and uh, move on to the next step so next what I have here is gonna look a little crazy but I have a popsicle stick um, this one is from Dollar Tree it's one of the it's the bigger size that they have here and um, I'm gonna be using it for the eyes on this one. So I'm just going to do the curve around and I'm going to take a detailed brush here and go into my, well, let me mix this a little bit here, go into my mixture that I did with the, what is that again, smoke gets in my eyes and tally ho to make this dark color, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry, and I'm just going to, let me make a mark here, um, and I, I'm going to make a mark on the stick so that I can kind of even it up when I get to the other eye, and while I'm here making marks, I'm going to stop the eyes right about here. So I'm just going to take the color and run it around just like this. And fingers crossed, this technique is going to work. I'm going to leave a space in between the popsicle stick and come over here to this side just make a mark. to do the same thing this on this eye. Okay, and then this one is going to need some eyelashes. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, so that's what that's looking like. Now, to make the mouth, I'm going to use the same stick in between the eyes, but I think I need to go upside down. So I'm going to go upside down with it. And hopefully. I don't wreck the whole thing. And I'm not going to make the mouth as deep as I did the eyes. Okay. 
And then this one has a little tongue that's sticking out. I'm going to rinse off this detail brush a little bit to get into the tongue color. And the tongue. I should have mixed that. But we're here now. So I'm just going to make the tongue like a swoosh. She's looking cute. And then I'm gonna go ahead and drop that in the water. And I'm gonna stir up the cheek color. And I have a dowel here from the, yeah, wooden dowel here from Dollar Tree. And I'm just gonna use this to dot in the cheeks. So let me just get some of this color on here. And just kind of use, you know, some of the tools that you have at home. Okay, so we're going to put one here. And one here. And that's what she's looking like. So I'm going to go ahead and clean off the dry erase in preparation for baking this and um, fill in a little bit more of the chocolate here. All right, so I have the mug here and I've taken off the dry erase marks and uh, I did another coat of paint on the chocolate area and what I found um, if there's any areas with this paint I don't know about any other paint but if there's any areas uh, that you didn't want the paint to be you can just take something here I'm just using um, a piercing tool that has a sharp end on it and you can actually clean this color here so you can neaten up any spots where you might have uh, gone over with the paint that you don't want so like here for example I can just clean up that area here just neaten that up a little bit and then all I'm going to do is just take a brush here and just brush off that excess paint. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and see about baking this mug and I will be back. Well, I am so sorry you guys, I thought I was recording this whole time that I was doing this and I wasn't and I actually just finished up this one and when I went to do stop I was actually pressing record so so I realized um, yeah so um, what I did with uh, this one and this one is I took the other end of the dowel and um, I dotted the eyes and uh, on this one, I essentially dotted the pink for the cheeks, same as that one, and I used my uh, popsicle stick guide here. So um, now is the time that I'm going to go ahead and bake these according to the instructions. Um, again, as far as I'm aware, the big ones aren't available anymore uh, through a maker studio. If you are interested in these, the uh, new formula is no bake. Um, and I can only speak to uh, the results of this one. So this is my first time using it. So of course I'm going to let you know, um, you know, what happened with it after they get done baking. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and I will be back. So these have gone through the oven and I baked them 
starting in a cool oven for 35 minutes. Turn the oven off and let them cool down in there. And this is what they look like. So here's the two with the dripping. And here's the two without. And I think they came out absolutely adorable. Um, again, this paint is food safe. So uh, you don't have to, I don't think you have to worry about uh, anything. Um, they do need to be hand washed, however. You can't go through the uh, dishwasher. Um, and this goes for the baked kind, if you happen to have that. Or um, if you get, if you do decide to purchase now, they'll have the no bake kind, and that's the same for that. It uh, has to be hand washed, um, I guess, to preserve the integrity of the the paint that's on there. Um, but these are complete, and I think they're super cute. So stay tuned for final pictures. And here they are. I love that these are not only super cute, but I can also actually drink out of them. But I want to know what you think. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and leave me a comment below. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, love, inspire, create. See you next time.